LPT request is it okay to go cold turkey? I 22, M have some bad habits which doesn't align with the ideal future version of me. These include excessive social media usage, pornography every 3-4 days a week, don't like reading books I wish I should be reading. Have tried gradual replacements but work. I get back to the old routine and stuff again. Is going cold turkey a viable approach? I'm just fed up of these quit and relapse cycles and every time I relapse I think my aptitude for gearing up for another try decreases, I fear that I'd ultimately give up trying after such repeated relapses and guilt. Hey mate. As a smoker for like 3 years I recently had my dissertation handed in and for the first time in a long 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 time I had nothing immediately looking over my head. Within about 3-4 days I have completely lost the urge to smoke a cig and the thought is kind of gross now. I'm trying to say the addiction you think you have might actually be a coping mechanism for something a bit deeper. Try and work out what it is, likely stress tbh, and address that and hopefully everything else falls into place a lot easier. I cold turkey gambling. I was heavy into it with up to 6k bets. Gotta be headstrong and not give yourself any excuses. I listen to a lot of self-help, addiction, and even business audible books. I figured that all of those have a common theme in being a better you. It's been two and a half years and I've never been happier. You can do it too. Anything you stop doing is stopped cold turkey, as it is usually stopped at that point and not dwelled upon. Cold turkey is a negative term that implies deprivation that only serves to disempower you. Don't think about how warm the turkey is, just live your life and do what you must. Make a decision and stick by it. I wish you all the best. Little tip from my therapist stop using the word should. By telling yourself you should do x, y and z, you are subconsciously setting up yourself for self-judgment. If you do actually do it, you don't feel good because you think it's what's expected, and if you don't do it, you'll beat yourself because you're not living up to your perceived best self. Tell yourself you'd like to do these things or that you think it'd be good for you to do it, that way if you fall through on your plans you aren't beating yourself up over it and feel shame guilt. Pornography every 3-4 days a week. Really confused on what this means. Are you watching porn every 3-4 days? Or watching 3-4 days a week? Either way neither of those numbers is excessive, in fact they're perfectly healthy amounts. If you're bothered by them then that's a valid reason for wanting to quit regardless, but if you're worried about the amount I'd say you have nothing to worry about. Try reading porn instead. Random fun fact whoever first translated cold turkey into Danish did a terrible mistake as the person translated it into cold tirka cold turkas in person from Turkey. Hope you get to accept your coping habits. As a man who has twice given up smoking cold turkey I can tell you that it is easier by far with help. But I had similar vices to you at your age too. You tend to grow into reading if it interests you to try. And once you find a genre too, porn usage will drastically reduce when you find someone to watch it with. Social media I struggle with still. But whenever I feel I spend too long on it I delete the apps for a week that usually ends up a month or so. Good luck. Cold turkey has been by far the best approach for me, but everyone is different. I quit video games cold turkey about 20 years ago and never really went back to them though I did recently start playing some VR games for exercise, I quit drinking cold turkey over a year ago and haven't touched alcohol since. Why MMV? This is all good advice I just wanted to say that your self awareness is admirable and will definitely be a key factor in your journey. If it's drugs, you might want to consult a doctor about the best way to clean out. Alcohol withdrawals can kill you. If it's just social media, porn, games, etc. I'd say cold turkey that shit. Just find a hobby and go see a therapist. Therapy really helps with addiction and can help you get to the root issue. There's a lot of good advice here, and going cold turkey is okay with certain things. I did it with cigarettes. I just want to point out that it's not good with other things, such as alcohol. 
you're not asking about alcohol use, but just in case that's one of your bad habits, I want to add in that you need to seek professional help with that if you're a heavy drinker. Cold turkey for an alcoholic can potentially lead to death, among horrible withdrawal symptoms. The other advice here is good. Best of luck to you. Check out Atomic Habits by James Clear. He's the master. I'd if you also binge drink or even have alcoholism, but alcohol is one of the few substances you cannot quit cold turkey. The rest, yes. I quit weed cold turkey and have been sober like two months. Got rid of all my weed, smoking equipment etc. So maybe like sight blockers and keeping your phone or whatever you browse on out of your bedroom? If you won't have withdrawal I think cold turkey is the best way to go. It's too depressing to wean yourself off and just do a little less each day. Just give it up and agree you don't do that anymore. Try the author Christopher Moore, he is the author of all my favorite fiction and I didn't start reading for pleasure until my late twenties. If you can afford it get help from a therapist. Hell yeah. Cold turkey is the only thing that works for me. Just a hard stop. Good luck. Commit to doing 10,000 steps a day. Find an interesting long audiobook and get some Bluetooth headphones. Go for long walks and improve your health while having an excuse to avoid watching reading junk on your phone. Your percentage of success increases with every attempt you make before elapse. None of your attempts were wasted although usage also usually increases after every attempt. Everyone's journey to abstaining from certain behaviors or substances is different so all you can really do after a relapse is forgive yourself and try again. If no addiction the yes, if it has something to sort of addiction the doing gradually I think is the way to go. It all depends on the person. I definitely go cold turkey on porn. You're desensitizing yourself to the real thing then when the time comes for you to go on a girl. You won't get it up or if you do it'll be weak and you won't get any feeling from doing the deed. You didn't mention alcohol or hard drugs but just need to say if you are a heavy user of alcohol, any upper, or any opiate please do not just go cold turkey alone in a room to ride it out those detox symptoms could legitimately kill you. Have someone with you at all times or if you can, go to a detox program or even the ER if you have to. Just an anecdote from a recovering addict. Hi friend, I'd say read into the usage of porn and see how badly it affects your brain. You can look into the NoFap community or read up on semen retention. I'd focus my attention on there at first. For social media usage, there's a black-white filter that you can enable on your phone which removes all color on your phone that stimulates us and has us coming back for more. There's also a lockbox you can purchase and set a timer to at least have some time blocked out where your phone will be locked. As for books, all you need is 10 pages a day. I cold turkeyed the prawn and it was the best decision. It was a struggle at first, but the longer you stick to it, the easier it gets. My quality of life is so much better compared to before and I also just feel so much better. Change your environment. Those are okay numbers. We need to pump those numbers up. These aren't real problems, give me a break. Just put your phone down. You're only looking at porn every 3-4 days. That's rookie numbers. Why not just have some discipline? Only do a little and not make such a big deal out of it. Start fasting. This will build discipline and focus also lower sexual desires np food from dawn to dusk it'll be hard at first but eventually the discipline kicks in and you will be more conscious with your time and activities. Yeah. Go cold turkey and throw yourself in the new my friend. Fuck the past. You'll thrive. I'd wish you luck, but if you take your own advice, you'll do it yourself. Porn isn't a bad habit.